The Fallout TV series recently came out, and in this video, we're going to look at the economy in the wasteland. The first thing to discuss is bottle caps, which is the form of money or the currency in the Fallout universe, and bottle caps do a great job as a form of money. Everyone accepts them as a form of payment. We can measure different things by the price of bottle caps, and it lasts a long time, unlike, say, carrots or, say, razor grain. The only problem with bottle caps is that we don't know the supply of bottle caps. It's always growing. When you drink some Nuka-Cola, you gain a bottle cap. So the supply of bottle caps is always increasing, which causes the problem. In the U.S., we have the money supply, and we know what the money supply is, or at least have a good idea, which that changes the price of different things. Because there is more money or because the money supply increases, prices adjust to that. But if there is a large stash of bottle caps somewhere and somebody uh, stumbles upon them, then the supply of bottle caps increases by a large amount and we don't know how to adjust for that. So that's really the only problem with using bottle caps is there is technically an endless supply and we don't ever know how many bottle caps are actually out there. So prices cannot adjust to that. The second interesting thing is that there is a barter system in the Fallout universe. I can take say some Psycho and trade that for a Stealth Boy and that's a simple barter system. And you can have a barter system and a currency system in the same universe. We actually have that in the US. You may have traded something for something else and that's just a simple barter system. Now, the big problem in the Fallout universe, and this is really with most games, not just Fallout, is supply and demand really doesn't happen correctly in most video games. Now, there's two big things that are going on here. First, there's not an unlimited amount of things that people will accept. You can't, say, trade a bunch of steel or a bunch of Nuka-Cola empty bottles. Eventually, people are going to be like, no, nah, I don't want any more of that. I'm not going to accept anymore. That doesn't happen in Fallout. The second thing is, as you trade things, the price that they're willing to give you for those things should come down. If I say... Uh, have three missile launchers and I want to sell them the first one maybe 300 caps the second one maybe a hundred caps the third one might be say 25 caps and if I have a fourth they might not even want that which kind of goes back to the first part now again this is probably the biggest problem with the economics or the economy in Fallout and it's again not only Fallout that does this most games that I've played have some sort of supply and demand issue on that. Make sure to like and follow and figure out how the economy of different games works and you can use that to exploit how you gain money or currency in those different games. Thanks for watching.